So welcome back. I've got another story I want to share with you called A Pill Bug's Life. But before I do, I wanted to show you some models um, that we worked on of pill bugs. I wanted to make a model of a pill bug. So shout out to Mr. Mike Smith, who found some stuff in the barn. This was something called Flex Duct. I don't think it's a great thing for kids to work with because it was a little bit sharp when we cut it. But maybe some of you can make some models with your kids and please share them with me. I'm always needing good ideas. So we've got the various stages. This one is rolled all the way up. And then we've got one that's rolled most of the way up. We still, we managed to get his antenna and his little eye spots on him. And then we've got the crawling pill bug. I used some toothpicks for his legs and I had some floral wire and of course we got his eye spot so there's a nice little model of a pill bug. I want to give a shout out to Mr. Smith for helping me with that. So here's the book A Pill Bug's Life written and illustrated by John Himmelman and I also told you that I was going to talk about a sow bug before the last video was over and I forgot to. A sow bug looks exactly like a pill bug except its body is not quite as round and because his body is not quite as round he can't roll up all the way like his friend the pill bug but he's a little bit faster so thank goodness since he can't roll up to protect himself he's a little faster so he can get away. So, a pill bug's life. Here we go. It's a spring morning, and a young pill bug crawls out of a pouch on her mother's belly. That marsupial pouch. So do many other little pill bugs. The pill bugs spend most of their time eating. They grow very fast. See, they're eating those dried up leaves. Soon, the pill bug is too big for her skin. She sheds the front half. And a few days later, the back half. Remember, that's called molting. Her old skin makes a healthy meal. And all summer long, the pill bug changes and grows. And when danger comes near, the pill bug rolls into a tight ball. And the hungry harvestman, that's that spider looking for it, just moves on. The pill bug, bug crawls under a log. She's looking for dead leaves to eat. A dangerous spider is under the log too, looking for a pill bug to eat. Suddenly, it gets very bright. A child lifts the pill bug off the ground and rolls her around and around. That's what we do, isn't it? The pill bug rolls across a flat rock. Finally, the danger has passed and the pill bug wanders through the forest. She finds a large dead log it's a good place to roll up and sleep through the winter. Other pill bugs roll up too. They do not want to dry out. On warm winter days, the pill bug wakes up. Snow fleas wake up too. And soon the, dual, the cool, damp spring comes and the pill bug wanders across the forest floor. She's looking for a male pill bug. At last, she finds a mate. A month later, young pill bugs crawl out of the pouch on her belly. Remember that marsupial pouch? They feed together under a log. For the next three years, the pill bug hides out in cool, dark places. She eats dead leaves and has many close calls and each winter 
she sleeps, rolled up under a log. And every spring, she brings new pill bugs into the world. The end of a pill bug's life. Hope you enjoyed that Creekside. Share what you learned about pill bugs. And if you make some pill bug models or pictures, please let us see them. Have a great day.